I'm out here with my Noco Genius Boost and my digital multimeter. I've got my battery here. It's completely discharged. I left the key in the accessory position overnight and it's been sitting here for over six hours resting and you can see it's 9.89 volts. It's completely discharged. I'm gonna try start that. Got my meter in here also. A little bit of a difference in the voltage there. The voltage drop. Turn the interior light on. Usually the voltage is pretty close though. I measured it earlier at 10.06 at the battery and then here it was 10.02. So it's 0 0.04 difference usually there you see it kick back up after the all right now I'm gonna try to start it I don't think we're gonna get anywhere I've got I've got nothing in the battery there you see there the battery line obviously I don't even have a click this thing is this thing is completely completely discharged even with just the fuel pump on and the on position, going down to seven volts. Turn that off. Let me show you how low it gets when I crank it. 6.7 volts, there is nothing there. All right, All right we're gonna go out there. See there, still got 6.82 directly at the battery. Got our Genius Boost right there, already plugged in and ready to go. This thing is completely safe. You cannot mess this up. I will show you. I'll intentionally hook this up to the wrong terminal. Black on red. Red on black, and we have our exclamation light there that just comes on. You see that? It says no power. And you can see on the meter there, no power is being delivered. Get a shot there of me hooking it up. And you can see the light coming on. No sparks, nothing. We'll switch it over here the correct way. See if we can start it. Red to red, negative to negative, and watch that voltage there. All right, not powered on yet. And now, there we go. You can see the voltage tick up there. You heard my wipers kick on. Left, must have left them on. 11.4 volts directly at the terminals. Eleven point four two right here at my uh, meter. And let's see what we got here. See if we get a shot of that. Should I be cranking it? And she fired right up there. See the alternator voltage kicking in. 14.6. Yeah, this battery is completely discharged. It's gonna need a good charge. It's a very old battery too. This is an Exide battery back when Walmart used to sell them from May of 2009. It has seen a lot of short trips. I'm sure it has got sulfate all over the plates now. You can see there. The tachometer sticks just a little there. From when I changed the dash lights. Change the light bulbs in there. Got all working light bulbs, but when I put her back together, I could never get it right. Right. Let's kill her. Let's see whatever. Drop real fast. 
And obviously another start on this is going to be no problem. I've already tested it with no battery at all. And fired right up. And go out there and turn her off. And just for good measure, I'll disconnect it. See, we're still just for good measure we're gonna disconnect it here the unit's still indicating 100% state of charge watch that voltage drop there 12.6 and go back in there and I'm gonna show the voltmeter here while I try to crank it and you'll see here's the on we're in the on position now, and here we go. Let's try to crank it. Wow. Battery was completely discharged, and I only let it run for less than a minute there. And it is now starting on its own. That's that good alternator for you. I've got a really old battery, but I've got a good alternator. It puts out strong voltage. It took me four tries from AutoZone went through three bad alternators to get a good one and she's running under her own power now charging up all right there you have it the noco genius boost started a battery with no charge at all Still indicating full power. I'm just going to let that charge up a bit and then bring it inside. Then bring that inside. Let that fully charge up. 